going to make a short video about refurbishing my phone dials. Teledials, the Porsche 944 rims that came stock with the car. Actually, these are Turbo 16s. Here's things to do and not to do. I had these things powder blasted, media blasted, uh, line blasted to be precise, and I found it created way too much pitting into the original primer, which I then had to sand down to and use some primer to try and build up those spots. So don't go that route. If I were you, just sand them down until you get down to the original primer and um, you're going to get a way better finish. I, I made too much work for myself by trying to strip them with, with a blasting service. Got them back from the blaster. He line blasted them to that kind of a texture, which you should be able to see. And uh, more coarse on the back. Um, I've already sanded this down. Is using this 150 grit sandpaper just to knock down high points of the primer that are left behind. He didn't uh, attack it. I told him to be a little easier on this face, so I got a good amount of factory primer still on here, so that'll work. For sanding, I really love these Benchmark foam block sanding blocks. They're flexible, they can get into some curved, curved areas, and best of all, they don't load. Even if, you've, if you're trying to sand off some sticky paint or something like that, they clean off really easily. In spots where you couldn't get in with where you couldn't get in with these blocks, like in the crevice there. I'm just using 1000 wet or dry and got that cleaned out pretty good, got it smoothed out. Now here's the big bonus. Worth silver is really expensive paint to buy and it was kind of what they recommend as the original finish for this, but I don't like it that much just because of the extra price. So I looked around to find something and I came across this trim clad rust. It's gloss aluminum and when you put it on it looks like super blingy at first but once it cures it softens up. Leave it for 48 hours to cure completely and then I topped it off with this duplicate color satin clear so that would take off a little bit of the shiny and a little bit of the bling. In the sunshine they don't shine they glow it looks really fantastic and i think it's pretty close to the original or actually i like it even better now to show you my approach for painting basically of course i'm gonna have to rim off what i did was i i, I shot in strokes like this keeping about nine inches away ten inches away from the rim and i just go and i would try to hit i would try and hit that surface and this surface as I was going because these are weird shaped rims so it's it's hard to get good coverage and then once I did a full lap like that then I would come in and I would shoot this face this face this face this face this face and then when I did the lap around there then I would shoot in here boom and I would get that face right and then finally a top up to hit these guys get the center and then just quick shots on these corners here to hopefully get those and you know it's not perfect this is my first time uh, a pro can definitely do it better than me but I learned a lot and time-consuming but here's why I made this video to hopefully show you so haven't mounted it on the car yet but you get the picture look good and hopefully these Cooper RS 3 A's will hold me in good stead oh yeah another tip when the installer went to put the weights on inside the wheel he had a problem with them adhering to the inside of the rim and that was the only rim I shot with the uh, Dupla color clear and I think it has a really nice sort of repellent nature to it to keep schmutz from piling up on there and make it easy to wash off and consequently the wheel weights don't stick to it so we had to sand off the areas 
where he was applying the wheel weights because it just wouldn't glue to that. So this is pretty, pretty slippery stuff. So keep that in mind when you're doing the insides. How I painted my center caps. What you do is clean them off really good, get any old paint and scratches off by sanding and brushing. And then uh, once it's all set to go, uh, I like trim clad gloss black. Just sort of spray that in there and just make sure you fill in all the recesses. And once that's cured, set and dried, probably, you know, got to leave it a, a good 12 hours, I'm thinking, until it gets nice and hard. Then you sand over the top and bring out the shiny raised portions and, that, and just clean all the black off the top. And then you need to brush out all the dust from inside there. I was hoping that the dust would help me in a later process, but it didn't. Anyways, you might get the drift when I'm getting to. So clean out all those recessed areas, blow it off, wipe it off. And now what you're going to do is I just used one of these cheapy lint rollers and I sprayed some silver on it. And then I just went over it like, just like a printing press would do. Just rolled the ink on, rolled, rolled the paint onto it. And, um, now you can see it's it has kind of a, a coarse finish so next time I would wrap just nice regular inkjet paper around this and <clears throat> give it a nice smooth surface and I think that'll give you a smoother finish because it does come up kind of orange peeled but that's I'm not that worried about it um, I could sand these down and put some clear on it and they'd probably look a lot better but I've worked plenty of hours on this already, and that's good enough for me. So uh, there's some advice for you. Good luck with that, and if you find a better way to do it, feel free to comment. Thank you for watching. Good luck working on your Porsche projects.